The biggest battery company in the world, CATL, plans on manufacturing enormous quantities of sodium-based batteries. They say that they'll be about 30% cheaper than lithium iron phosphate, meaning they'll be the perfect battery solution for the world's energy storage needs. I'm talking energy storage in terms of big battery packs that sit on the ground and don't move. However, researchers from Victoria, Australia, from the university that I went to, have found a way to commercialize solid state sodium batteries. And frankly, their work is pretty amazing. Hello, my friends, and welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you from Melbourne, Australia. Thanks to all the new subscribers. Great to have you. And great to see everyone else back on the channel. Hope you've had an amazing week. Now, I'll put a link in the description below to the video I made about sodium batteries and how they will play an enormous part in the world's solution to our energy crisis, to our energy needs. CATL clearly agree with me. They're putting billions of dollars of research into developing their sodium batteries which they say will become commercially available next year. However, a team of researchers from Deakin University Institute for Frontier Materials have used computer modeling and simulations to progress the design of a new type of sodium state polymer electrolyte, showing its potential use in various types of polymer-based solid state batteries particularly sodium and potassium batteries. Now, why is sodium such an important solution to our battery technology in the future? Well, lithium has become very, very expensive. In fact, lithium spot prices have increased by 900% since January of 2020. Now, if you compare the increases in price since January 2020 of cobalt, nickel, manganese, iron phosphate, graphene, graphite, and sodium, well, they're all minuscule in comparison to the stratospheric increase in price of lithium. Fortunately, in these new batteries, these new solid state batteries, sodium can replace the lithium, meaning they are definitely a solution to our dependence on the incredible increase in price of lithium. Rechargeable batteries paired with sodium metal anodes are considered to be one of the most promising high energy and low cost energy storage system. The emphasis here is on low cost. I mean, CHL themselves say, these batteries will be 30% cheaper than lithium ion phosphate, which are the current cheapest batteries in the world. However, the use of highly reactive sodium metal and the formation of sodium dendrites during battery operation have caused big safety concerns, especially when highly flammable liquid electrolytes are used. Now, one of the big problems with these sodium batteries is that the dendrites get bigger quickly. Basically, the batteries don't last as long. Lots of charging cycles in lithium ion phosphate batteries gives them a big advantage right now over our sodium battery technology. However, CATL and this team of Deacon researchers say that they've solved this problem. New research published in the Journal of Nature Materials suggests that by using polymer as the ion conductor rather than the flammable liquid solvents currently used in lithium ion batteries means the energy storage is greener, safer, and much less expensive. Lead researcher Dr. Fang Fang Chen said the team used a computer to lab material design strategy, applying modeling and simulations to find the best compositions for polymer electrolytes. This work has been devoted to developing new polymer electrolyte chemistries that can be used with high energy metals that are more abundant and less expensive than lithium, such as sodium and potassium, she said. The new materials can contribute to a more sustainable greener future battery technology, as well as providing society with safer, high performance energy storage devices. Chen's research partner, Professor Maria Forsyth, said the work expands upon current knowledge of electrolyte systems and provides an alternative to the dominant lithium iron technology. Lithium-based technology is expensive, in demand, and increasingly scarce. 
So breakthroughs that provide alternative, inexpensive, and safe energy storage options are of major, major significance, she said. We can now offer an alternative path to realizing polymer-based solid-state batteries. This is a significant milestone, and this process will act as a design criterion for further development in this field of research. The research results come after Forsyth and Dr. Yao Yen Wang last month announced they had developed solvent-free solid polymer electrolytes based on a perfluoropolyethylene terminated polyethylene oxide-based block copolymer for all solid-state sodium metal batteries. I mean, it's complicated, but basically this boils down to that most industries that develop sodium batteries generally use carbon-based electrodes and liquid electrolyte, which has low capacity and also can fuel a fire if the battery overheats. Wang said that they are taking a different approach using reactive sodium metal as an anode to increase battery capacity, and in the process, developing safer electrolytes to ensure the safety of sodium batteries. A key component in the electrolyte, a fluorine-containing class of polymer, was developed by Dr. Cheng Zhang and Professor Andrew Whitaker from the University of Queensland's Australian Institute for Bioengineering and Nanotechnology. Originally used for biological applications, this is the first time the polymer has been used in solid-state sodium batteries, and it appears to be the answer that we're looking for. Wang said one drawback of current sodium batteries is that they do not last as long as lithium batteries, which I outlined before, and have a lower energy density. However, in pairing them with the new polymer electrolytes, the researchers believe that sodium batteries could offer close to 1,000 cycles, comparable to current ternary lithium-ion batteries, but still a fair bit less than lithium-ion phosphate batteries. The research team said small-scale testing of the batteries had been successful, with upscaling and prototyping coming very soon. Wang said with further research, opportunities could be on the horizon for use in stationary energy storage such as solar or even in electric vehicles. Now, I'm not sure what technology CATL are using for their new sodium batteries. In fact, no one really knows. It's a secret in-house. For good reason. They want to keep their cards close to their chest. Why would they share their technology with everyone else? However, it appears as though there is a race going on worldwide right now. What's that race? The race is to find batteries that don't need lithium, that use sustainable materials that are cheap and abundant. Sodium is that material. Now, remember, keep in mind, this battery here from Deakin University, it's really the prototyping stage. Yes, they've developed them. Yes, they've made them. But mass producing them is an entirely different story. So mass producing the sodium solid state battery that they're working on may or may not work. However, the sodium batteries being produced by CATL are the real deal. Now, they may not be solid state batteries like what we're seeing now coming from Deakin University. However, there is no doubt that CATL sodium batteries will offer a solution to the world's dependence on lithium. Sodium, my friends, is the key. The only question is what form it will be in in the various battery technologies we're going to see emerge over the next decade. Now, let me know in the comment section below what you think. Am I right or am I wrong about my predictions on sodium? Now, I know that you all are aware that lithium ion phosphate batteries are 100% necessary to our battery revolution. Tesla's new battery packs, its new power walls, and its new energy storage solutions, and even its cars will all will primarily use lithium ion phosphate batteries. The only question is, will they one day be using sodium? Maybe they will. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.